This video shows excerpts from a 90-minute session using simulation to teach concepts of traffic patterns to Sean, who is 16 years old and has been totally blind since he was 6. We set up carpets to simulate an intersection while we pretended to be vehicles. Sean preferred to explore the intersection and do the simulations without his cane. I have done this simulation for many years to teach the basic traffic movements of signalized intersections to adults, often using intersecting carpets or sidewalks, but I prefer to use intersecting hallways because they have physical boundaries that are easier for blind people to hear and feel with their bodies than it would be for them to identify with their feet and cane on floor surfaces. This was the first time that I planned to teach more complex movements and include pedestrians, so we ran into problems because the carpets were not wide enough to represent more than one lane going each way. We also needed more than two of us to simulate some of the vehicle and pedestrian movements and positions, so we were fortunate to have Sean's mother join us when needed. It would have been even better with more students or participants in the simulation. Traffic patterns are all based on rules that were developed to avoid having people bump or crash into each other. So, of course, our simulations involved lots of scenarios where we can potentially bump into each other and have to figure out rules that would avoid that. We started with traffic's most basic rule by standing at each end of one of the streets and moving toward each other. Of course, I bumped into him, so we needed to figure out what kind of rule would avoid that. To help him think of the rule, I confused him by asking what kind of rule they used in his school so that students would avoid bumping into each other, which made him wonder if I was asking about pedestrians or vehicles. So, um, what can we do so that we can don't, we don't collide with each other? We don't hit each other. What can we do? Well, these streets are dead ends. Well, yeah, but we're, we're going to pretend that they go on and on forever. But let me ask you, in your school, I bet there's a million kids in that hallway, right? And they're all going opposite directions, you know, they're going one way or the other. How do they avoid colliding with each other? Are there certain rules that you so like pedestrian or Okay, right, right now I'm asking you about your school. And you are a car, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm a car, you're a car. And we're both traveling along the right side. Heard. I'm sorry? Everyone stays on the right side. Everyone stays on the right side. Let me do that. All right, so I'm moving to my right. And we will see if that works. You're on your right? Are you on the right side? Okay, let's see if that works. Let's see if that gets me back. Once he thought of the rule, we passed each other with no problems. All right, let's turn around and get ready to come back. Look at you. Went to the right side of it. Excellent. Next, we each started at the ends of different streets and considered what would happen if we each wanted to move through the intersection at the same time. Problem if you walk forward, are we going to have a problem? At the same time. At the same time, yes. What do you think? Will we have a problem? Or will we be good? Yeah. We're going to have a problem. All right. So what can we do to make sure that we don't collide? We can make traffic signals. We can make traffic signals. Great. And what does that traffic signal do? Change colors. So it changes colors. And this is green, you can't go. To no one's surprise, when Sean and I each took turns crossing the intersection, we had no problems. Next, Sean practiced approaching the intersection from one direction and turning while still staying on the right side of the road. After he got the hang of that, we faced each other at opposite ends of one street and both of us approached the intersection to turn or go straight. We found that there was no problem unless one of us wanted to turn left and then there'd be another crash. So turning left is a problem. Doesn't matter if you're going straight or turning right. Turning left is a problem. And so how do you think, we, we figured out the rules for not colliding when we're going on the same street, and you said the rule is stay on the right side of the road. What do you think the rule is if someone, if one of us is turning left and the other one's not? Exactly. The one who's turning left waits. So I want to go left, I wait. Oh, you're turning left. I'm sorry. Back up. I didn't realize you were the left turner. Okay. 
So you're going to come up and turn left, but you're going to wait. Oh, <laughs> did you wait? Yeah. No, okay. All right, just try to get. Oh, you thought the one going straight was, should be waiting for the one turning left? Yeah. Is that what you think? Okay, let me ask you to think. At, well, that's it, it, let's figure it out. When you're at school and you're going along the hallway, and on the, I guess you guys go on the right side of the hallway, yeah. Sorry. and so you want to go to a classroom on the left. So you need to make a left, you know, up, 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 you need to cross the hallway basically from the right side of the hall to the left side of the hall. And there's a bunch of people coming. Do they usually wait for you to turn left or do you wait for them? Um, it's, uh, well, it's if I'm turning, I'm not already moving. Ah, you but can turn without moving. Yes, yes, and just wait there. If you're going straight, you're already yes. moving. So you ah. would have to actually stop while I'm playing. Yeah, I would have to stop. I'd have to know you're turning. I'd have to stop before I get there and allow you to turn. That really, that would be hard to do, right? We'd have to kind of guess who's turning, who's not. Back in your classroom, in your school hallway, when you want to turn left, do you wait well, until I, mean, I can't see. Well, there's some Sometimes you can hear them. Uh huh. I just turn and go. You turn and go, and they have to wait. Huh? <laughs> We hit each other. Okay. Well, if you hear someone coming, you want to turn left, you're in the hallway. Yeah, we wait. You would wait. The one turning left would wait, right? Yeah. Until the person goes straight through, and then you would turn left. Excellent. That's how it works. That's how it works. So the one turning left waits for the, per the ones going through. Great, great. You want to try it? Yeah. Great. All right, so you want to turn left. Oh, Shirley, why don't you come and be in? I mean, we've got a couple people uh, being cars on 33rd. So your mom and I are cars. We're going straight through, and we're going to make noise as we do so you know where we are. And you've pulled forward. You're ready to turn left. Whoa! Oh, you cut right in front of her. Yeah, you did. Oh, That's my goodness. goodness. Big, 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 big. Oh, All right. right. Let's see. Let's I'll be vlogging you down. <laughs> All right, you ready again? All right, Sean, go ahead. That's a good question. That's a good question. What if I can never turn? Oh, that's a great question. Never ever. Oh my gosh. Shirley, thank you. You just brought up a huge question. What if you have to wait there for the whole, yeah. Or an hour and there's still the cars going. <laughs> well, at a signal, and eventually, we have to stop. So that's how a lot of people do it. They wait until the, 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 the light turns red for... Then they go. Then they fly Not through. through light. Well, it's funny because they're already in the intersection, so they were... They entered it when it was green, so it's not a problem. But for you for such a beautiful question. It's a huge problem. So let me ask you, put your engineer hat on. How can you design this signal so that it gives the left turn people a turn? So let's figure out, I'd like you to figure out some kind of arrangement, some kind of a system where the left turners get their turn. Nobody can, nobody can cross them. There's no pedestrians. Oh, go ahead. How could you work this? The day kid. My turn error could be wild, ladies and red. Oh, red for everybody else, right? Beautiful. That's exactly how they do it, Sean. They make it red for everybody else. Excellent. So it turned out that Sean himself had actually introduced the very problem that I had wanted him to figure out. That is, what kind of traffic patterns did the engineers design so that left turners wouldn't have to wait forever for their chance to turn left? I wanted him to figure out the two most common traffic patterns for modern signals. That is, the one in which left turners from both directions are allowed to go at the same time while all other vehicles have the red light, and the one in which all vehicles from one direction are allowed to go while all other vehicles have to wait. For each of these patterns, I wanted him to figure out what the engineers planned for the pedestrians. So, let's see how he puts everything together to figure out these two common traffic patterns for modern signals. Well, when, when you're turning left and I'm going straight, we had a problem, didn't we? Yeah. When you're turning left,
left and I'm going to the right, we got a problem, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. When you're tur turning left and I'm going left, did we have a problem, right? No, no we didn't have a problem. No. We could do that. That's right. So often they will have you with a green light to turn left and me with a green light to turn left. So on both coming from both directions on the same street, they'll get the green light to turn left at the same time. Should we try that? Mm -hmm. We know that it's not very wide here, so I'm going to kind of keep it close to the wide. I'm going to turn left. I'll turn left. Good. All right. Excellent. So that's one way to handle it, is to give everybody a red light, except the ones turning left uh, from the other way. Now we need to figure out what happens to pedestrians when vehicles from both directions are turning left. Earlier, Sean had figured out that when he turns left, pedestrians crossing parallel on his left would be in danger, but the ones crossing parallel on his right would be safe. He wasn't sure what would happen to those safe pedestrians if a vehicle was turning left from the other direction, so I asked him to come to the other end of the street and turn around and then turn left to find out what happens to the pedestrians who had been safe when he turned left from the other side. I'll turn left from there, and I'm a pedestrian on this side of where I was safe from you before. Now you're turning left and I'm crossing. There's no pedestrian that's safe, is it? No. No. So the engineers do are very smart, and they don't give pedestrians um, green lights or you know pedestrian signals to say go ahead and cross when they know that people are turning left. They say everyone else red, stop, stay where you are. You're not allowed to go. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've come up with one of the two ways that the engineers have come up with to allow. Um, left turning vehicles, drivers, to have the right of way. And that's to give everybody the red light except the, the ones coming from opposite directions turning left. There's another one that they figured out. And see if you can figure out what were the other system that they've come up with. The one you came up, by the way, is the most common. That's, that's the way it usually is. But there's another way. You also what? I can't remember. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, let me ask you. If you're the only one turning left, the only ones turning left are coming along 33rd and turning left. And the ones over on this side have to wait. Um, what other vehicles can go? The ones from here. Turn going across um, along uh, Charles Street? Uh, no? You said no? Yeah. Okay, right, you're not. They wouldn't. If you're turning left and I'm coming along here, pop. So let me, let's go through the whole thing. So you're turning left. We know that anybody coming from my direction, unless they're turning left, is going to be a problem, right, mm -hmm. for you. Let's have your mom come and be, well, no, I will be another vehicle beside you or, or behind you or whatever. Let's have it beside you. If you're turning right. If I'm turning right, that's Same exactly. Thing. Let's try that. So you're going to go turn left. Go ahead. Good, good. We're good. We're good. I'm turning right. So that's fine. So they could have you having a green light to turn left. They can give me a green light to go to the right. But me, if you were on this side. Oh, would I? Oh, that's a good thing. Would I turn right from over here? If I want to turn right, would I be over here? Let's say you want to turn right. No. 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 I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why we're doing this. Because, it, it, you know, being there and imagining yourself kind of gives you the clarity. So let's turn over this way so that, um, and, and tell me what you just figured out. You're not on the right side. If you want to turn right, where do you need to be? On the right side. On the right side, exactly. In order for Sean to conceptualize which other vehicles can go when traffic from only one direction is turning left, I moved a carpet to add another lane going the same way as the left turning vehicles. Going from the couch to the stairs. So let's go to the beginning, to the end of uh, 33rd. 
you're on the side that comes that, come, that goes the opposite way, come to your right a little bit. Now you're on your side. And if you come to the right again, there's an extra lane here. Both of, both of these two lanes, um, the one I'm in and the one you're in, both of them go forward. Okay? So you want to turn left when you come to the intersection. So which lane do you want to be in? No, 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 one closer to the left. Why don't you go there? Okay, I'm going over here. Now, we said that if you're turning left and I'm turning right, we're good to go, right? right. Let's try that. So you're going to turn left, I'm turning right, we're both happy, nothing's, nothing's wrong, right? So when the, when the left turners get that green arrow and everybody else has a red, actually we can give a, re a green light to somebody turning right, right? Let's try it again and think about uh, what if I don't want to turn right, I want to turn, I want to go straight. Is that going to be a problem? Right. That's fine, exactly. So another system, oh, you want to try? Okay, ready? Um, ah, we're both happy, la la la. Very good, excellent. So when another system for having the uh, left turners get the green light is to give the green light to everybody coming from that direction. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And but while they're doing that, people are going, you know, while we have drivers going to the right, and while we have drivers going straight, and while we have drivers turning left, I'm going to turn left. Good, good, good. Everybody's happy. Everybody's coming from the same direction. No problems. And while they're doing that, can anybody be moving from this direction? No, exactly. The light is red. The light is red for everybody. You okay. can't, so you can't do it. Exactly. And that's why the engineer said, hey, we got your back. We'll give you the signal. We'll, we won't make you have to watch and, and make sure it's clear when you're turning left. So we're going to only give the green light to people who are not going to bother you. And there's two ways that they did that. One we just did, which is everybody has the red light except the cars beside you going straight and to the right. Okay. Do you remember what the other system was? Everybody has read except... The left turn. Exactly, the left turns from the other side. Exactly, those are the two systems that they've come up with. Cool. All right, let's bring pedestrians in here. We figured out that if both of them are turning left... Oh, we're, we're, we're going to think a minute before Mom comes up. So we're, we've already figured out that if both of them turn left, are any pedestrians safe anywhere? No. Okay. But let's talk about the second one that you've come up with, which is everybody on um, heading towards the, the, the stairs can go. Let's figure out if there is any pedestrians that might be safe. What about a pedestrian that wants to cross? Pedestrian that's on. This side. Ah, they're safe. Excellent. Well, let's try that. I'm going to get off. In fact, why don't we have uh, Miss Shirley come and be the pedestrian that she wants to cross. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to remove part of your street here and have her be waiting at the corner. And Shirley, you want to cross Charles Street, which is this little pink mm -hmm. carpet. And and Sean's going to turn left. I'm going to go straight, and let's see if we have a problem. So she's crossing. She's happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. Excellent. Good. That works out. So those pedestrians are fine. Let me ask you though, what happens if I want to turn right? Are we, we going to have a problem? Yes. Yes, it's going to be a problem for all. Uh huh. But problem can be solved. Good. Turn face the camera and tell us how is it going to solve that problem. If she steps out of the street, yes. She before yes. it goes, yes. you can see and pause. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so um, in other words, who has to, who has the right of way and who has to stop and wait for the other? The pedestrian has the right of way. Exactly, right. exactly. So if I'm turning right into her path, she's looking at a green light, I'm looking at a green light. Uh, it doesn't matter that I have a green light. If she's got the green light, I have to wait for her. So beautiful, Sean. So pedestrians can go on the same side that the left turners are on, you know, the, the coming from where everybody's going straight, turning left, turning right. The pedestrians are allowed to go. The ones turning right have to wait. 
Now let's put, have, bring your mom over to the other side. Uh, she, now she's waiting. You said that they could also wait over, they could also cross over here, right? So, so let's have you stand at the corner. Well, wait. I'm turning oh, left. say it again. Let's face this. I'm turning left. If you're turning left, yeah. Then go ahead. What 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 happens? Interfere with. And then we interfere with each other. There will be big interference. We don't like interference. The and then engineers, by the way, call it conflict. We would have a conflict. And uh, <clears throat> so when you're allowed to turn left, you've got a green arrow turning left. Pedestrians to your right are fine. Pedestrians starting on the same side that you're starting from are fine. But the pedestrians on the on the left side of the road. Not so fine. Beautiful. Good. Thank you. You've just seen some of the simulation to teach Sean about typical traffic patterns at Modern Signals. We also spent about 15 minutes learning about right turn on red vehicles and which way the drivers would be looking when they turn right on red. The rest of the time was spent thinking about pedestrians, including the risks of crossing and how to reduce those risks. This is important because you may have noticed that when we were teaching Sean about the common traffic patterns, we had focused only on traffic movement and the rules and laws that determine who has the right of way. He needs to realize that drivers do not always obey the law and yield to pedestrians when they should. This was addressed when we discussed risks of crossing and how to make it more likely that the drivers will see and yield to him when he has the right of way. More information is available from the self-study guide, Preparing Students Who Have Visual Impairments and Other Disabilities to Cross at Modern Traffic Signals at www.saueerburger.org forward slash d-o-n-a forward slash signal. Special thanks to Sean and his mother Shirley.